today we learn about data shortcuts. Uh, data shortcuts are very essential in Civil 3D. And uh, please stick to the end if um, you're ma you have a slow machine, for example, if you want to increase the performance of your machine, you can utilize data shortcuts to enable your processor to perform better in terms of handling heavy data in civil 3D. For example, we are going to um, reference these objects that you see here. We're going to reference most of the objects that we see in this drawing. Let me turn off geolocation for us to see what is happening here. I put off the background map. And here we have a road corridor, we have a surface, we have some profiles and uh, a corridor. And we want to reference this data into another drawing where the computation won't be as heavy as it is on an original drawing. So if we create a new drawing here, a new drawing pops up. And if I go back to the original drawing, we want to shortcut all this data that we are seeing here onto this drawing. All right, so how do we create those data shortcuts? We can do it in two ways, as Civil 3D gives you different options of doing the same thing. We can do it here from the Manage tab. As you can see, we can create data shortcuts. Or we can go to the Home tab and toggle on our tool space. Let me rebuild this corridor. It seems outdated. So this is our corridor. And I want to reference it into this other drawing. I want to reference the alignments. I want to reference the corridor and all. So we will utilize this functionality called the data shortcut. And the data shortcut can be found down here at the prospector tab of the tool space. Down there, there's the data shortcut. And if you see the bracket beside the data shortcuts uh, name, this means uh, this there is no existing data shortcut. And the data shortcuts, it's empty. If you see this brackets, there's nothing under data shortcuts. If I was to expand the alignment as well, these are just the major topics. There are no objects under the center line alignments. There are no objects under the offset alignments. There are no curb return alignments. There are no rail alignments, and so on and so forth. So let me compress again. So what do we do when we're creating data shortcuts? First, we start by clicking there on the name data shortcuts. We left click, and then we right click, and we first of all create our, s our working folder. So we set our working folder. Let me click on that. And here under Autodesk, there, there is uh, Civil 3D projects there. I want this to be my working folder. And then my data shortcut folder will be this T-junction. So I created this before I even started this. So if you go back to Autodesk, there is the Civil 3D projects. I set it as my working folder. So that's my working folder. Select the folder. Once that is selected, I go to step number two. Step number two is we create or we set a, a data shortcut project folder. So we set that. So under the civil 3D projects, you saw there are several folders. And I said we were going to select the T-junction folder as our project folder. So I set this as the project folder. So I check it and I click OK. Now I am ready to create the data shortcut. So the last step, which is just creating the data shortcut, I right click and I create the data shortcut. And here I'm presented with the objects that I can shortcut to. As you can see, you can shortcut the surface. I can get this surface that is existing here onto another drawing. I can get the alignments. I can get the profiles, I can get the corridors, and so on and so forth. So let me click, uh, 
let me check all this because I would like to access all this in the new drawing. I can pick in drawing if I want to. Okay, you can pick in drawing any object that you want to, to pick. Let me escape. Once that is okay, you just click okay. And what you'll see here is that the data shortcut has been created. As you can see, if I expand that, I can see the EG surface is available. The same surface that is up here is available in another drawing. So if I go to another drawing, let me go to drawing number two here, I can now see the data shortcut. So let me bring in the EG surface to create uh, that reference or to shortcut onto that surface. It's pretty easy. It's just right click on the surface or the object of choice and I create surface. So there are several other options here. If you want to remove the data shortcut, you can remove it. If you want to open source drawing, to open this drawing, you can open it from here. If you want to promote it, let's say you've done some changes in the original drawing. You want to promote that into the existing drawing, oh, you just click on promote. But right now, what we want to do is just to create the shortcut or to create a reference onto the, the drawings that we referenced. So here you can see you can even change the name. You can change the style if you want to. So let me bring them in as they are, uh, as default. And I click OK. So we zoom extends to see the surface. This is our surface. So let's bring a couple of more things. So for example, if I don't want to see the surface, we can go to surface properties. Let me bring in uh, the alignments, bring in the center line alignment. You can change the styles again if you want to. You can describe it. It's referenced, for example. And then you can click OK. And there you go. You can see it's the same, same alignment that was on this other drawing. If I click on this, alignment and I select alignment you can see it's the same alignment you can see there's a curve here then there's a there's some two tangents you can see there's a curve and there's some two tangents there so let's bring in the the other let's bring in the other alignment the other center line alignment on this side so let's see this is the other, other center, center line alignment, alignment. In the the reference. Reference. I click OK, okay. There we go, we have our, our centerline alignment. And let's confirm this through um, turning on our geo location to see whether it's the same, same place. So I'll go to the settings tab. I right click on the drawing name and go to edit drawing settings. So this place is in uh, Ethiopia. And then I set up the uh, coordinate system, system of that place, that's set 38 north, and I click OK, and now I can go to geolocation and turn on the background map. There you go, same, same place. Turn this on again, it's the same, same place, you can see this feature here, you can also see this feature here, so it's the same, same junction. Same same alignments have been referenced from that drawing to the new drawing. So if you have any questions about this, uh, if you have any questions about this topic about data shortcuts, uh, you can comment on the comment section. Also, if you want this drawing number two, if you'd like to have this drawing number two, just comment uh, your email address and I can send it to you. And you can practice on your own how to data reference this. And if you have any questions, if you get stuck, you can also ask me through the comment section or through the email that I will send you the drawing with. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe.